Hello everyone, this is Akan and this is a very quick video to show you how you can install the mod and also to explain uh, the different uh, versions. So if you are a, U a Windows user, you have two options how to install the mod. So the first and easiest option is to go uh, is to use the workshop uh, in Steam. So to do that, you simply have to go into Steam just go into your game so Civilization 5 then you will have to choose uh, the community hub in the links on the right or right clicking and, choose it and choosing community hub once you're in the community hub just go into the workshop once you're, into in, you're in the workshop just find my mod so to do that just search for icon and this will display my mod. So this is my mod. It is the uh, the hub in the workshop for my mod. So you can leave me comments. You can uh, see updates. And if you want to install the mod, you simply have to click subscribe. So this is the Windows version of the mod. All right. So you just click subscribe like this. And uh, normally, uh, Steam should download a file. Once this is done, just go into mods, and the mod should appear. This is this, and to play with it, you just have to click enable, and then you can just click next. It should configure it, configure game data, so it is updating the the stuff in the game and you're ready to go. Now you just have to do as usual. Like you so you have a new map in the mod which is the NQ map and you have new a new difficulty level here. Alright. Uh, so this is the easiest way to do this. The other way to if you want to play the normal game you just have to go back to the main menu and just clicking uh, single player or multiplayer as usual. So if you want to play a normal game just go here and this is the normal game. The mod isn't loaded. To load the mod you have to go through the mod part. Alright, so let's say you don't want to use the workshop for example if you don't have Steam or if you like uh, to update manually because if you use the workshop when I make an update on the workshop your game will be updated automatically so this is good if you don't want to deal with having to check if the mod has been updated and having to do it manually but on the other hand some uh, updates may break your save games so if you don't really mind that once uh, in a while an update would break save games you uh, you can just use the workshop and uh, when when your there is an update and your save game don't work anymore you would just have to start a new game but if you want to be sure that the mod isn't updated without you knowing it you will have to do it manually so if you want to do it manually so first let me just unsubscribe so that uh, I can show it to you so if you want to do it manually just go to uh, the version the page of my mod so you can find it in different places it is in the description on Steam it is in my signature on uh, Cfanatics and also in some of my YouTube videos so just go here and in this page you will have Dropbox, li Dropbox, Dropbox links to install the mod. So if you want the official version, the official version is uh, here in the installation part or when I make an update I will also put it in the opener. So just go to the Dropbox link. So it will open my Dropbox. So it may ask you to subscribe or something, just say uh, no thanks and uh, it should allow you to download. So just download the mod. 
So this is a raw file. So you will have to open it, open the, the raw file with WinRAR. Then this is the mod, and then you will have to go into your mod directory in Civilization 5. So let me just remove the mod so that it makes sense. This was installed because uh, I subscribe. So your mods file uh, will be empty if there is nothing in it. If you don't have a mods file in your uh, documents, my game, Sid Mayer, Civilization 5, if you don't have a mods file, just create one, a mods folder, sorry. And then you will have to extract the WinRAR file in there, like this, and then it should appear in the mods. And then after that, it is the exact exact same thing. But you are not, uh, you will not be updated automatically if you don't reuse the workshop. Um, if you want to update, just delete and install the new mod, the new version of the mod. Uh, for uh, Mac users, for Mac and Linux users, this is exactly the same thing. You have to use the Dropbox link and put it in your mods folder. So I cannot show you because I don't have a Mac or a Linux computer, but uh, this is exactly the same thing. So this is a C5 mod file, but C5 mod files uh, act exactly like RAR files, but maybe there is another way for Mac Linux, I'm not sure. So maybe ask someone else or just look into the internet on how to install a mod for Mac and Linux. But for Windows, these th you have these two uh, ways that I've just showed you. So you either use the workshop, so there is a workshop link in my signature too, or you go into Steam directly and search for it, and then click subscribe, or you do the manual installation with downloading the file and then put it, putting them in the right folder. Alright, so this should be enough explanation. If you have any question, just ask on YouTube or on Cfanatics. Just send me a private message and I will uh, try to help you. Alright, thank you for listening everyone and I hope to see your comments soon.